Good morning, everybody. I got a little scratch in my throat. Hope that helps. <clears throat> ah, my name is Marcia. In case you don't know, even though this is a little channel. And this is Oils and Wellness with Marcia. And I wanted to share with you, my husband bought me this little spray bottle. I'm so happy for it. I guess he got it at Walmart. I don't know. But six dollars and fifty cents. But I'm so happy for it. Oops. I, I was trying to take the tag off when this pump was coming up. Bear with me. I'll take the tag off. There we go. Anyway, um, I'm gonna mix some stuff up with my oils, and then I'm gonna go out to my garden and uh, spray my tomatoes and my bell pepper my peppers not all of them are bell peppers some of them are hot peppers I'm gonna spray them down and to keep the bugs off and I'm gonna use a insect repellent that I found in my handy handy dandy book but this is gonna come in handy because I'm gonna be using it in my garden a lot it says it holds 34 fluid ounces or one liter and it's a pressure sprayer I like it because you push, you push down on here. Hear it? You can hear the pressure. But yet, there's nothing in it but air. That's pressure, I guess, right? Push down. But if you want it to spray continuous, you push down and push that under. And it just continues spraying. You just look at which I don't want to waste it. So then you use this to pump up. And it says, I don't know if you're... If you've ever had one, but I never have, so I'm going to read the instructions to you so I can say I read the instructions and I know how it works, and that way if you do get one, you, you've been told how it works. Instructions for use. To operate the sprayer, fill the bottle to the max, maximum fill line, which I haven't found yet. I probably have to take this off first. Maximum fill line. And screw the lid to make sure it is secure. Note, do not fill over the maximum fill line to avoid overspilling. Number two, pressurize the bottle by pumping the handle five to ten times. There's the handle. You saw it. But five to ten times. Number three, press the trigger down on the handle. For continuous spray, use the button to lock the trigger. Number four, to adjust the spray, turn the nozzle to the desired uh, spray as achieved. Slowly unscrew the top to release the pressure when finished using. And here's some warnings. It says, clean after each use. Caution, do not open the bottle until the pressure has been released. Always point top of the bottle away from the body when opening or releasing pressure. And do not use during uh, windy conditions. Okay, now let's see what the book says on the recipe I'll be using. Now, most of the bugs that I'm going to be repelling is probably aphids in the garden. So, aphid re uh, repellent is mix 10 drops of spearmint and 15 drops orange essential oils into 2 quarts salt water. Shake well and spray on your plants. So, this is not 2 quarts. It's 1 liter, which is like 1 quart, almost 1 quart. So, I'm going to uh, divide that recipe in half. So, uh, 10 drops of spearmint would be 5 drops of spearmint, and then 15 drops of orange, I'm going to say 7. So, uh, and then salt water. I don't know how much salt to put in my water. So I'm just going to pour some in there to cover the bottom of the container, and then uh, fill it with water. So, and the salt I have is pink Himalayan salt. I don't have any table salt here, which would be a lot cheaper. 
Let's unscrew this. I'm not going to point it toward me, even though it's never been used. Never point it toward you. So I take this off. See if I can't find the feel line. Here's what the inside will look like. I'm looking for the maximum fill line. It don't say in here. That is funny. I'm sure it's probably right here on the on the rim. But there's it don't say anywhere. Do you see anywhere where it says maximum fill line? I don't. So I'm just gonna fill it to this line. Let me get the salt in here. Then I'll fill up water, and then we will get the. Ouch! I'm trying to open it. I've only had the sprinkle side open before. Boy, honey. Okay. Guess I'll just sprinkle it in. I can't get the other side open. Man, that's going to take forever. Okay. We push pause until I get this open and be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have my container and my salts open, so I'm pour some in the bottom. That's probably plenty. Looks like a pretty good amount. Okay. I'm going to fill this up with water, and I'll be right back. Have the salt on the bottom <clears throat> and the water in here as you see I don't know if you can see the salt on the bottom or not it's supposed to be dissolving it's starting to get heavy <laughs> now I've got my orange essential oil, essential oils from Young Living and my spearmint essential oil from Young Living now spearmint uh, uh, was five drops and orange was seven. So let me put my oils in now. Let me pull you down so you can see. So I don't have to try to hold the bottle and do that at the same time. Go down this way. Hey, I'm representing Come On Homestead. If you don't know Come On Homestead, go check them out. It looks like I'm still going to have to pick the bottle up. So pick it up here. Put it on my lap. Now I put. Ooh, this must be an empty one because I don't have the drop around here. Let's see if it's empty. Yep. Let's see if I have another bottle of spearmint because this one here is empty. And I have contests where I give things away on this channel. When I get empty bottles, I put them in a jar with Epsom salt. Or water, whichever one, because they both can be used in the laundry or in my diffusers. Put the bottles in there, and then when the bottle's full, when the jar is full, we have a contest. You, you subscribers and viewers, get to guess how many of these little bottles are in the jar, and then someone gets a prize. But, well, gotta wait for the jar to get full. At least you know there's one right here. But, I think I have another bottle of spearmint in here. Hold on. There's my spearmint, another bottle. Mm, it smells good. It smells just like spearmint. That's one thing I like about Young Living. If it says spearmint, that's all there is in it. Spearmint. Five drops. One, two, four, and five.
no, orange was seven. So, put seven drops of the orange in. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Put this on. Make sure I close it good. Now I got, it said five, how much did it say? Oh, it's on here. Uh, five to 10 pumps. I'll do five. One. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. And five. Now it's ready to spray. If you want to see me spray this, I'll be in my garden in just a few minutes. Go check me out on Candace Misfit and you can watch how this works. Candace Misfit is my next video that I'll be making today. And you I this up and you can go there and watch me spray. The insect repellent that I just made. I'll see you on Candace Misfit. If you come from my channel, let me know. I might have a surprise for you for, for switching from Wolves and Monas with Marcia over to Candace Misfit. So, hope to see you. I'll see you later. Ta ta for now.